My name is Luby Navarro, school board member for District 7. I also would like to thank all of our parents for all of the hard sacrifices that they make every day to send their children, you, to school with us. You have demonstrated to us that you have trusted us and you have trusted us with the most important asset in your life, your children. A former school board member accused of stealing school funds. Now she's behind bars. Appointed to the Miami-Dade School Board in 2015, Lovey Navarro left the district in 2022. Afternoon, ma'am. You were arrested for, it looks like, an arrest warrant with four counts are charged with organized fraud or organized scheme to defraud $50,000 or more. Now she's under arrest, prosecutors say, for stealing taxpayer money. This is a case where Ms. Navarro, who is a former uh, vice chair and school board member for the Miami-Dade County Public Schools, was misappropriating her school board issued credit card. She had two credit cards a P card and a travel card. And she spent just in pretty much the scope of 2022, over $100,000 for merchandise, uh, services and items for personal gain. Appliances, electronics, clothing, health and beauty products, household goods, home furnishings, food, and over 178 gift cards. There, there are checks and balances in place. Uh, we are trying to determine, you know, sh where they followed ha as they should have been. Uh, one of the things that they noticed was some doctoring of, of documents. Those are a clear red flag. And again, there, there's a certain deference given to elected officials because you expect them to be there to, to do what they were elected for, to do a good job. Navarro's attorney spoke for her in bond court. I have entered a notice of appearance and a written plea of not guilty request for discovery on her behalf earlier today. Her attorney elaborating in a statement that Navarro has lived her life in service and is innocent of wrongdoing. The Miami-Dade state attorney said if convicted of all these charges, Navarro could be looking at anywhere from three to 55 years in prison. Navarro didn't just spoil herself. She also allegedly gave her then boyfriend extravagant gifts and paid for stuff for his business. Local 10 News has learned that juice bar behind us is very well equipped. Thanks to Navarro, that school district issued credit card and you the Miami-Dade taxpayer. A lot of the stuff in this place belongs to the taxpayers of Miami-Dade County. We are told his name is David Moore. He is the former boyfriend of former Miami-Dade school board member Luby Navarro and he doesn't want to talk to us about how Navarro spent thousands and thousands on him and his business. Go and ask the police. Go and ask the police. I'd rather ask you because you're the one benefiting from it. State records show Moore is the owner of Shook Juice Bar at 2616 Sterling Road in Hollywood. According to this warrant, Luby Navarro bought Moore a commercial refrigerator, two wine chillers, an espresso machine, ninja blenders, this fake turf, a 40-inch TV, outdoor tables and chairs, even the mulch and the shelving at this juice bar was bought on her Miami-Dade County School Board credit card, all for Moore's juice bar. What I want from you? Don't you owe the taxpayers of Miami-Dade County an explanation? Why don't you say anything? You knew nothing about it, right? You never asked her where the money was coming from to buy this stuff? The warrant says Navarro expensed $900 worth of groceries for Moore's family, rented them a car, bought them tickets to Disney and Universal, and paid for hotels. Investigators were here at Shook back in July, and Moore did cooperate with them, claiming a friendship with Navarro turned into a brief romantic relationship, which he called off for religious reasons. The warrant says Navarro used her school-issued credit card to buy trackers to place on his car and two artificial silicone pregnancy bellies with cotton filling to trick Moore into thinking she was pregnant. Who is know about it is know about it. Whoever knows about it knows about it. Money was supposed to be used for education. Nothing to say. Nothing to say to us. The question now, will Moore get to keep all that equipment Inside of that juice bar, we reached out to the Miami-Dade County State Attorney's Office as well as the Inspector General's Office, and right now, we have no answer. I think that all government is a waste of taxpayer money.